Do you ever buy something that seems like really high quality, but it disappoints you? That's what's happened to me today. This is the recently released Viltrox 50mm 1.8 lens for the Sony E-mount system. I didn't see many reviews on it, so I went ahead and took the plunge and bought one. It's a very nicely made lens, and it's very high quality, at least in the fit, finish, and feel, but it's got some autofocus issues. First, let's talk about the build of this lens. So it's got a really nice manual focus ring. It's got a nice physical aperture ring. It doesn't have clicks in here, and this is actually electronic. It doesn't affect the aperture inside when you turn this, but it's a really nice addition. I really enjoyed having that. No weather sealing gaskets, but it does have a USB port for firmware updates. It also has a really nice hood. Pretty tough plastic. I actually think this is thicker plastic than some of the Sony lens hoods. The overall like feel of the lens is really nice. Like it feels like a quality lens. This is all made of metal. Uh, this ring is really smooth. I'm putting that up to the mic there. Uh, the aperture ring isn't quite as smooth. Besides that, like, I really, really wanted to like this lens. I was gonna do like full review, like test all the stuff on it, but um, I just don't have the heart to do it now because this lens is going back. I took it to my local Renaissance Festival today and I did get some fantastic shots with it, but I really struggled with the autofocus. So let's take a look at those and I'll kind of run you through some of the issues I was having. This is the first photo that I uh, took that day, um, or at least one of the first, and you can see just my friends here were not in focus at all. Um, focus great on the background, but not in focus. So that was first fail. So this one, um, this guy was just walking by, not too fast or anything, um, he just, not in focus. And here you can see one of the other issues with the lens. Uh, it has some pretty severe purple fringing. So this is really noticeable in camera when you're looking at it in the back of the camera, reviewing the files. Uh, I think it gets corrected a little bit when you pull them into Lightroom, but um, if you are bothered by purple fringing, this lens has a lot of it. Um, Shade this image. This was probably my favorite image from the day. Uh, if you look at this one, like super sharp. These guys were just walking by. I asked if I could take the picture. Uh, this one's a 2.8, so uh, you can see 2.8 sharpness. Really good. Uh, this was just another person that was walking by. Uh, I thought he had a pretty cool costume. Um, this one's super sharp. You can see some of that purple fringing there again, um, and in the chain mail. Uh, but yeah, this one was at 2.8, so good colors, good sharpness. I really liked this Pirate's Revenge building. It's kind of hard to get the whole thing in at 50 millimeters, but uh, you can see more of that purple fringing. But um, overall, like this one's pretty sharp, even in the corners. So that's a Pretty good image. Now these flowers definitely got me realizing that the autofocus on this lens had some issues. Um, I could not get this picture. Um, I tried single shot. I tried uh, AFC, just not having it. I ended up having to manually focus this after about 30 seconds of trying. So yeah, that was a that was a fail. Now when this band came on stage was when I really started to notice that um, there was some pretty severe focusing issues. So uh, when this uh, lead singer guy came over to me, I just could not get a clean shot of his face. And um, you can see this was like 250th of a second. He was just kind of hanging out there. Um, this should have been sharp, 2.8, but you can see got his arm, you know, all that's pretty sharp but it just wasn't getting his face. And you can kind of see in this whole series that there's one, we got one tack sharp on the eyes, but 
rest of them, not so much. Let's see, just not good. Uh, it was very much the same with the rest of the people in the band. And then uh, let's go look. So we'll look at this photo. Um, this is one of the last ones I took from the day. And uh, this one was at 1.8. And as you can see, like super duper sharp. Um, but you can see, look at that purple fringing there. It's like really pronounced. Um, but I mean, this is super sharp image, really sharp on the skin. Um, you can see even more purple fringing there. So overall, sharpness really good, color really good. Um, didn't really have any issues taking this, but this is pretty even lighting, and I, I feel like that was kind of the key with this lens, is if the lighting on the person was even, um, it would focus pretty well, usually grab the eye, no problem, but um, any type of you know weird lighting or anything like when I was shooting this band. It was just, it was just terrible. I couldn't, couldn't focus at all. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the current state, I just can't recommend this lens. It has way too much trouble autofocusing, and it does have that really severe purple fringing, which I personally don't care about. But um, I, I know there are some people who do. So uh, with without a firmware update and with it focusing the way it does, I just can't trust it for any type of job that I would do with it. So I'm gonna be sending it back. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna get the Sony 2.5 uh, G, the one that just came out, which is not quite as nice a bokeh, but um, I've heard really good things about that lens. So uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I mean, go ahead and give this video a like if you found it helpful and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks.